Sequence basics uh, on the older layout uh, sequences here, but we need to swipe over to the second screen now to find sequence and here it is. So let's normally start with an edit clear all just to reset most of the settings in here. Um, note when we tap type, we can choose four different types of recursion depending on whether we've got one previous term and want to start from term zero or term one or two previous term ones. Uh, the next item along is NAN, which we can use to build our recursive rules. Uh, and finally, the little diamond here has more options. If we want to get the sum of a sequence, we can turn it on or we can turn it off using this setting here. Um, if we tap onto the explicit tab, so rather than recursive, I've tapped onto explicit here. The options tend to change a little bit under type. We have nothing to choose from now. Under NAN, um, there's an N at the top, or under explicit, there's another couple down at the bottom here. Um, I'm just gonna tap off. Notice also under this key, uh, or icon rather here, this is where we can set the table input and we can generate um, a sequence from one to five, or we can edit these values for whichever values of a sequence we require. Um, notice also under this drop down menu here, not only can we create a table of values, but we can create a difference, a quotient, um, or the sum of consecutive terms. So there's a, a few options there as well as the standard um, create a table.